So after you've got um, your 3D data in here, there's certainly a few things we could, um, uh, bits, a few bits of analysis that we could do. And it actually, and it literally, it is analysis, and that's why you'd look under the analysis tab here. The main 3D kind of stuff uh, that um, I think will be of interest is measurement, vertical measurement, uh, line of sight, and view shed, that, that sort of thing. So once you've got this kind of view, and we don't, we don't have to be some of that extremists move along here a bit. Um, and um, I think we can rotate a bit around like that, I think. That's a bit better. So once I've got the view of interest, um, underneath, so when you click analysis, you'll see explore, exploratory 3D analysis. Now there's a few tools here, like cut and, f cut and fill, object detection, and um, which is some actually some some deep learning stuff, um, and you can slice up have a view dome. There's there's a few things there. We're, we're going to not go through every single one. We're just going to get the um, the the way you use those those tools sorted and just get a few things clarified um, about how they use. So if we go to elevation profile, for example, and just click, um, we can sort of click down there in that um, in the quarry. And then we can um, dr drag it right over here, all the way, let's say, to this crossroads, whatever that is. So the crossroads looks like it, something like that. So I'm just going to double click. So you can see how it's it started off down there, but but you know I, I can um, edit that and, and move it as I wish. And but in the um, uh, down here, you can see I get elevation graph that as as I move along, I can see the position that I'm looking at so really at that high point is as expected see it comes over the cusp of the, uh, of the quarry there um, let's just pull that around a bit and that will spin it so it takes a bit of getting used to these, these controls but it, it, you know it will um, make sense after a while um, yeah so you can see that uh, going along there uh, height and stuff. You can actually just reverse it. If I flick it around, you can you can reverse the um, graph, which is quite handy. Uh, you can also export the graph uh, as an image, as an actual feature, um, and um, you know as a line feature, and then um, or you know straight into a geodatabase table or a, or a CSV. So you can, you can export it as um, you know as as well as um, however you wish. I can like I said, I can grab it and move it around. And it will just dynamically update, as you can see. Maybe I don't want to go all the way back there. Maybe just to the top there. And so I get my my new elevation. So that that's the elevation profile, and you can see how it sort of glows and gives all the numbers as I, I drag the um, bar around. You got all the data, min and max and average, all the way down there. A bit about slope, etc., etc. Have a play. If you're wondering how to get rid of ele elevation profile. Um, I'll just show you. So if I do a um, one from there to the and there, you see it creates this um, graph which you can kind of minimise down here. So um, and then you can you know move it around as I show below. But if I expose that graph again like this and then just click the close button, it will go. So another one would be the um, uh, view shed. So if we click on view shed, so this is everything I can see from a given point. So let's go on the top there. Now as soon as I click, it'll have whatever the, the basics are in there, the, the defaults, and show you um, what you can't and what you can see. So I would say the red is what you can't and the blue is what you can see. And these stars, actually, you can get, if you go to properties, you can you can click on global properties and change them. So maybe visible is um, I mean actually those co those colours are pretty good. But but just to show you the, the change, I, I'll, I'll change that to let's say a, yeah the dark dark green was fine, and not not visible yeah keep it as red and multiple co coverage and, and the actual wire wireframe kind of image itself change that to white you see so you can change the the, the, the wireframe and and actually you can do the same with the line star as well now 
obviously it's it's you know it's it's taken a default here on this view shed based on whatever data is already in and actually from my kind of previous session so all the tilt and offset etc is all there well you can just if you go in you see see it changes to the select tool when I go near the, the one of the vertices so, uh, vertex so I can grab it and pick up and it will dynamically update it you see actually I don't know that green was pretty poor but uh, I'm gonna change that I'll change that back to dark blue I think um, and and also change you know all the tilt and horizontal verticals and stuff so you can do it all you can do that all dynamically or literally just type it in and when you type it in so if you I don't know if you do 180 horizontal you know it'll, it'll then immediately widen it immediately the um, and actually as you as you as you click anywhere you'll see this just kicking off and doing um, doing the work now and then you can see um, uh, the, what the creation method method was you know I just interactively placed something uh, but did you see the message that flicked up just then in blue it's it mentions something about um, resources so um, uh, if you if I was to do can I actually do another one no I, I don't think it's gonna let me do let me do, let me do a line of sight because it gave me a, a warning um, error about resources because you can't carry on doing this sort of forever so you see this line of sight tool it, it, it you know if I'm if I'm standing there can I see that point down there um, in there so n now I've done that you see how that bit's gone to red and that's green so again that's just like properties that's what you can see and what you can't see and and that's great but if I I think if I do a few more I am expecting oh there it goes again explore analysis uh, object display resources exceeded clear one or more analysis objects before adding new ones so there's a sort of display kind of budget in the you know it's, it's keep must be keeping an eye on the CPU on the threads and stuff because you know this is a 64-bit app so it's keeping an eye on things and saying okay you're 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 pushing this a bit much and uh, and, and you've got to start clearing the decks a bit so under exploratory 3d analysis you can just shut it all down with a clear all um, and then you you know you, you, you'll be you'll be fine so um, anyway so I think what I'll do is put a link to these uh, analysis tools in the video in the YouTube video so you'll be able to click and read up all, all about them there's quite a few there but hopefully that's given you an immediate um, look at uh, you know how to do some basic um, 3d analysis inside uh, ArcGIS Pro one thing to also note is how the measure tool works when you're in a uh, 3d view like this so um, here we are on the on the map tab and you have the measure tool and there's distance area features and measure vertical which is um, which have changed because you're in a 3d world so if you measure the distance for example it'll it'll actually effectively uh, follow the contour of the DTM so you can see uh, what that sort of direct um, measurement measurement is in terms of uh, line of sight that sort of dimension um, dimensioning value um, so right over there from over on that side to there it's picked up a contour and where it hits that surface that high level 655 uh, 665 um, point whatever so um, and if we do area it's much the same it'll follow the 3d model so that's that area measured uh, in 3d in 3d uh, and actually measure vertical is um, could be something of interest uh, particularly you know if you're dealing with trees or something like that so but let's for example measure let's get in here a bit maybe not that close let's put at the bottom there and then just bring it up to a particular um, height position so that's your your um, vertical measure 
If I press escape, it'll just close it. So put it at the bottom there. And you can see how it kind of locking onto those contours. You see how it's sort of filling in um, at that height level when it hits the terrain, the DTM height data. So that is. So you're looking at about 142 meters. Anyway, uh, that's just the measure tools. Um, when you're in 3D, so make sure you're on the map tab and click on measure. I hope that's useful. Thank you.